Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and you can subscribe to this current affairs series. You can attempt the quiz in this series and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel Civil Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. Reserve Bank of India has brought which bank covered under Article 371F under its regulatory purview. Now, if you know about Article 371F, it contains the special provisions related to Sikkim. So now, this State Bank of Sikkim will be under the regulatory purview of Reserve Bank of India. This bank was established in 1968. Please note that Sikkim became the part of India as per 36th Constitutional Amendment Act. The headquarters of the Sikkim Bank or State Bank of Sikkim is in Gangtok, which Arabian country has approved its women to join the armed forces. So this country is Saudi Arabia. Now women are allowed to join armed forces. Recently, the country was also in news as it is going to be the host of 2034 edition of Asian Games. Answer in comment box which country is going to host Asian Games in 2030. Saudi Arabia was also in news because of G20 summit. So it was the host of last G20 summit, that is G20 summit in 2020. In 2021, Italy is going to be the host. In 2022, Indonesia is going to be host. In 2023, India is going to host this G20 summit. And in 2024, Brazil is going to host it. Mass migration of blue earthworms was recently observed in which Indian state? So, correct answer is Meghalaya. Recently, JSI, that is Geological Survey of India, prepared a report. And this is the first time that such report has been prepared on the two-way mass migration of blue earthworms. So, these blue earthworms migrate two times in a year. They migrate uphill in spring and downhill in autumn season. And this is about the migration in the East Khasi Hills. These hills are in the state of Meghalaya. What is JSI? It is an institution under MOEFCC, that is Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. The headquarters of JSI is in Kolkata. It was established in 1916. The Code of Practice on Disinformation and Misinformation is associated with which country? So this is related to Australia. Recently, it introduced Code of Practice on Disinformation and Misinformation. So idea is to prevent the fake news and disinformation on online platforms and it has been prepared by DZ. What is DZ? It is Digital Industry Group INC. It is a known for profit organization. Now recently, Australia was also in news because of media bargaining code. Apart from that, recently government of India also announced certain regulations for social media platforms and for OTT platforms. OTT stands for over the top platforms. So social media platforms like WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter and OTT platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime will be under the regulatory framework. Now these regulatory framework are announced as per the provisions of IT Act of 2000. What is IT Act? It is Information Technology Act. And to be specific, these new guidelines on social media are announced as per the provisions of Section 87, Subsection 2 of this IT Act of 2000. Now these digital media guidelines are given the name as Information Technology Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethics Code. So in exam, they may give you this term that Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethics Code is related to which country? So it is related to our country. Now, two ministries are involved in this entire process. One is Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. So it is related to the regulation of this content on all the top platforms. For social media regulation, the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology is going to play a key role. So the part two of these guidelines will be regulated by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and part three of these guidelines will be regulated by Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Part three will be regulated by Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Center for Drone Pilot Training and service of drones has been recently inaugurated in which Indian state? So it has been recently inaugurated in Guwahati in 
Assam. And this has been inaugurated in association with electronics sector skill of India. And this is 15th center of Indian Institute of Drones. The headquarters of this Indian Institute of Drones is in Noida. Noida is in Tirpatis. So recently the 15th center for drones was started in Guwahati in Assam. It is a center of Indian Institute of Drones. Now why such centers are established? These centers train the drone pilots as per the guidelines of DGCA, CAR. What is CAR? It is Civil Aviation Requirements. What is DGCA? It is Directorate General of Civil Aviation. So recently DGCA was in use as it approved BCCI. Now after this approval, BCCI can use drones for the recording of cricket match. Recently, DGCA was also in use as Agriculture Ministry got approval from DGCI to use drones for the crop yield estimation under Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. And this is first remote sensing technology based largest pilot study. Here the meaning of this pilot is on trial basis. That means this is being done on trial basis. Which is the first country to have captured and released the audio from Mars. So this was done by NASA. NASA is the space agency of USA. Name of NASA's rover is Perseverance. Name of NASA's helicopter is Ingenuity. Recently, Hope Pro was also in use in the context of Mars mission. It is related to UAE. Apart from that, Tianwen-1 was also in use. It is related to China. It is China's mission on Mars. Recently, this Hope Pro was in use as it sent images of Mars. And the Olympus Mons is the largest volcano of Mars. Actually, it is the largest volcano in the solar system. Answer in comment books, Mars have how many moons? In which country the 30th Adriatic Pearl Tournament took place? So this tournament held in Montenegro. It is a country in Europe. To be specific, the tournament held in Budwa. Why it was in use? Because Indian women's team topped the tournament. Uzbekistan was on second position and Czech Republic was on third position. And Indian women boxing team won the five medals in this tournament. And for her performance, Vinka, she is a boxer from India, has been awarded the best women boxer of the tournament. This Montenegro is a country in Southeast Europe and it is on the Adriatic coast of Balkans. Which organization in India is to co-chair 2021 Asia Economic Dialogue. So the event is organized by Ministry of External Affairs and for this year it will be co-chaired by Pune International Centre of India. Ministry of External Affairs is headed by External Affairs Minister Mr. Ash Jaisankar. Now please note that this MEA is the nodal ministry for the extradition related issues. Recently the extradition of Nero Modi was in news as the court in UK approved the extradition of Nero Modi. However, there are a lot of legal issues involved in it. So you should know that which is the nodal ministry for extradition. It is ME that is Ministry of External Affairs. Now in the context of scam by Nero Modi, a term was in use LOU that is letter of undertaking. Answer in comment box. What is the meaning of this term? Apart from that, what is the legal basis for extradition? That means which is the act in our country for this specific purpose? So the name of act is Extradition Act of 1962. What is the meaning of this term extradition? It means a person who has committed some crime in our country and now that person is in some another country. So we are requesting to that country that this person should be sent back to India so that we can punish. What type of missile is VLSRSAM? So it is a SAM that is surface to air missile. Surface to air means it will be launched from surface and it is going to hit target in the air. Recently it was in news because of DRDO as DRDO conducted the trial. DRDO stands for Defense Research and Development Organization. It is under MOD. Recently DRDO was also in news because of Rakshita. So this missile has been specially designed by DRDO for deployment in Indian Navy. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news events. So first is Mahasmriti Mahila. Karan. So this is a campaign in Maharashtra. Objective of this campaign is to spread awareness about different initiatives of the government so that women in rural areas can take benefit of these initiatives and steps can be taken for the women empowerment. So it is a campaign related to state of Maharashtra. Next is B. 
1.526. So it is a variant of COVID-19. That's why it was in news. Next is Saral Suraksha Bima. So recently IRDAI, that is Insurance Sector Regulator, has launched a standard personal accident cover. Name is Saral Suraksha Bima. It has been launched by IRDAI. Now this policy will be mandatorily offered by the general and health insurers from 1st of April 2021. Name is Saral Suraksha Bima. It has been launched by Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority. Now the product has a maximum assured sum of 1 crore and the minimum limit is 2.5 lakh. In simplest term it is an insurance policy for the people and in this insurance policy you will have to pay the premium and depending on your premium you will get the insurance amount. So maximum amount is 1 crore minimum is 2.5 lakhs. It has been launched by IRDAI. Now all the general insurance companies and health insurance companies will have to offer this service from 1st of April 2021. Next is Mannathu Padamnaban. So he was a social reformer from Kerala. Recently Prime Minister paid tribute to him on his Jayanti. Now first and foremost thing is that he was a social reformer from Kerala. Second thing was that he was the founder of Nair Service Society. Next is FSCI that is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. So this is the authority which fix the limits of GMO that is genetically modified organisms and this is under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So two important points about GM. A for the commercial crops we have GEAC that is Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee. So this committee is under MOEFCC. So for commercial release of GM crops the nodal authority is GEAC. For food related products the nodal authority is FSSAI. It is under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Next is Sitagadi Hills. So these are in Jharkhand. Recently the place was in news because a Buddhist monastery was found in this area. Next is Asia's largest cattle park. So this is going to be in Tamil Nadu. Recently Tamil Nadu was also in news as it increased the retirement age to 60. Next is China. So recently China was in news as it announced that it is now free from extreme poverty. Next is Mangalapuram. So it is a place in Kerala. Recently it was in news because India's first digital university was started in Mangalapuram in Kerala and this has been set up in and this has been set up in Kerala name is Kerala University of Digital Sciences Innovation and Technology that is Kerala University of Digital Sciences Innovation and Technology. Next is state of school feeding worldwide. So this is a report by World Food Program. The headquarters of this World Food Program is in Rome. Rome is in Italy. In fact, the headquarters of FAO is also in Rome. FAO stands for Food and Agriculture Organization. Next is Mahamrityunjay Temple. So this temple is in Assam. Recently, it was in news because Home Minister attended a event in this temple. Next is City Innovation Exchange Platform. Recently, this platform was launched by the Secretary of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. As the name suggests, it is a platform where innovators can come together to solve the problems related to cities. Next is Irakli Gariba Sivli. So recently he became the new Prime Minister of Georgia. Next is e Dakhil Portal. So this is a grievance redresser portal by Consumer Affairs Ministry. Recently this portal was in news as now the Consumer Affairs Ministry has decided to integrate it with CSC. What is CSC? It is Common Service Center. Next is FATF. So it is Financial Action Task Force. Recently it was in news because of its meeting and as per that meeting it was decided that Pakistan will stay in the grey list of FATF till June 2021. So FATF maintained two list grey list and black list. Answer in comment box what is the formal name of these list. Actually these grey list and black list names are informal names. So answer in comment box what is the formal name. Right now I think only two countries are in this blacklist. One is North Korea and second is Iran. Next is Dushyant Chotala. So recently he was in news because he has been re-elected as the president of TTFI that is Table Tennis Federation of India. He has been re-elected. Presently he is the deputy chief minister of Haryana. Now he was first elected in 2017. At that point of time he became the youngest president of TTFI. Now he has been re-elected 
for a period of four years that means from 2021 to 2025 next is gautam thakar so recently he was in news as he became the new ceo that means global ceo of olx autos next is stories i must tell so it is a book by actor kabir bedi and it will be launched in april next is kelo india winter games so recently second edition of kelo india winter games started in gulmarg and it is in the union territory of jammu and kashmir next is mahanadi godavari so recently a task force approved the linkage of these two rivers that means these two rivers will be linked so that surplus water from one river can be used in another river recently it was in news because the task force approved this next is mukhyamantri ghar ghar ration yojana so it is a scheme announced by delhi government to provide the home delivery of ration delhi was also in news because of char trap actually this is app to book tickets related to dtc that is delhi transport corporation so it is a mechanism to book ticket without any contact that means contactless ticket booking delhi was also in news as recently delhi government announced that all the departments in delhi government will now use ev that is electric vehicles and the existing vehicles will be converted converted in the sense that they will be replaced within next 6 months to promote electric vehicles delhi also started a campaign it is switch delhi there is another campaign by the central government it is go green there is a scheme to promote electric vehicles it is fame so these were the most important news events now get ready for today's test Thank you and that's all for the day.